Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and today we're going to be talking about a certain little news story that Dan showed to me this weekend that I thought would make quite an interesting kind of like discussion point. So the headline of this particular article reads, Apple's diversity VP apologises for controversial statement at Summit this week. And I'm just going to read you a couple of little bits of the article and then share my thoughts and kind of like ask you a few questions and because I want to know what your guys' opinion is on this because I have quite a strong view and other people on the internet have quite a strong view, hence the reaction. Um, I'm just going to read you this article so we can get a little bit of background and then we'll talk about it. Apple's VP of Inclusion and Diversity, Denise Young Smith, made an appearance this week at the One Young World Summit in Colombia and caught fire for some statements she made. The Apple executive apologised to employees for her choice of words. At the event this week, Smith was explaining how Apple focuses on diversity and commented that there could be 12 white, blue-eyed, blonde men in a room who are still diverse. And then there's a little quote here that reads, Diversity is the human experience, the Apple executive said. I get a little bit frustrated when diversity, or the term diversity, is tagged to the people of colour, or the women, or the LGBT. There could be 12 white, blue-eyed, blonde men in a room, and they're going to be diverse too, because they're going to bring a different life experience and different life perspective to the conversation, Smith remarked. Honestly, I love this statement. I think it's brilliant. I think it's great that someone who is in charge of diversity, who is head of diversity, who is in charge of making sure that an organisation is as diverse as possible in terms of employees and things, um, I think it's great that that person recognises that it's not just about numbers and quotas and getting X amount of women, X amount of black people, X amount of Asian people, X amount of gay, bisexual, transgender people. I really like that. I like that she's recognising that there's a lot more to diversity than just what you see on the surface. A lot of it is to do with what a person has experienced, what they go through, what they can bring to the table. I love this statement. I think it's great. I think honestly, if you hire 12 people from the same university who happen to be different genders and races and stuff like that, they're going to have a more similar experience than 12 people who might be all white or all black or all men or all women who happen to be from 12 different universities. Because honestly, honestly the whole point of diversity and stuff is to get people from completely different backgrounds. And yes, often that means people of different genders and different races and different just life experiences, but that's not all there is to it. And I love that this woman is recognising that. But the internet went a little bit crazy. They weren't happy with what she said. The article goes on to say that people were so unhappy that she had to actually issue an apology about this. Uh, the article reads, in her apology which was sent to team members at Apple yesterday, Smith explained that she understands why some were offended by her statement and attempted to clarify what she meant. And then there's a little quote here that reads, last week while attending a summit in Bogota, I made some comments as part of a conversation on the many factors that contribute to diversity and inclusion. I regret the choice of words I used to make this point. I understand why some people took offence. My comments were not representative of how I think about diversity or how Apple sees it. For that, I'm sorry. More importantly, I want to assure you, Apple's view and our dedication to diversity has not changed. Understanding that diversity includes women, people of colour, LGBTQ people and all underrepresented minorities is at the heart of our work to create an environment that is inclusive of everyone. I, I think it's so stupid that, oh wow, okay, sorry, there's a little note at the bottom of this, like an edit, isn't it, that reads, remove comment section because WTF is wrong with you people. Ooh, okay. So yeah, the internet is very, very angry over this, and I honestly don't understand why. I think what she said was perfectly reasonable. Yeah, maybe the whole, like, white, blonde, blue-eyed men example was, like, a little bit triggering to certain radical feminist groups, but she has a point. There can still be diversity among 12 black women, there can still be diversity amongst 12 transgender men, you know what I mean? It's uh, The point she's making is that there's more to diversity than what we see on the surface of someone, and I really appreciate that, I like her comments, and I don't understand why people are so mad about it. The people who seem to be getting mad are the same kind of people who say, oh, well, People can't be sexist against you if you're a man. It's like, yes, they can. Or like, you can't be racist if you're black. Yes, you can. It's just, this is a really silly story that really annoys me quite a lot. Another article I found that just talks about the issue, I think really gets it. It reads, 
Denise Young-Smith, president of Diversity and Inclusion for Apple, doesn't believe being a minority or a woman are the only criteria for diversity. Young-Smith believes true diversity goes further than skin colour and sex. Which is true, and it's brilliant, and this article totally gets it. I honestly don't think she needed to issue an apology here. I don't think there was anything to apologise for, and I don't understand why people are so mad about it. You know, I think we should have a look at Twitter and see what people are saying. Yes, thank you. This guy says, never apologise for advocating diversity of thought. Your enemies are the thought police. Think different. This guy gets it. Another person says, finally someone who makes sense. Oh. This person says, oh god, Denise Young-Smith is a black woman too. Sad face. I get it. She's just saying what Apple wants to hear. No, she's not. Apple found the perfect neoliberal token woman of colour, Denise Young-Smith, who is saying a room full of white men can be diverse. Have you noticed that only white people are applauding her? That's because my race, my gender, my identity, none of it matters. I want to be high because I'm good at a job, not because I'm a woman, or not because I'm a certain age, or not because... or whatever else. I want to be hired because of the way I think, the way I work my education, my background, my work experience, how good I'm gonna be. And that's what she's talking about here. Nah, I love this. Apple Diversity VP forced to apologize for making sense by PC cops. Sums it up perfectly, thank you. Denise Young-Smith, 12 blue-eyed men represent everything but diversity. Just ask Dove. Sorry, no, but Dove is a beauty product. They're talking about diversity of beauty standards. They're talking about specifically how women look, right? That's why you want women of every age, every race, trans women, and so on. But Apple is a tech company who hire smart people, and capable people, and hardworking people, and people who are good at their jobs. That's what you want diversity, and diversity of skills, diversity of experience. Let's be honest, diversity of race doesn't make that much of a difference. At least I don't think so. What matters is the experience you have. And yeah, any other kind of person may have a different experience from a white man, but we should be looking at their experiences, not their race, to dictate what they know, if that makes sense, to, to, to explain what they know. I, I feel like I'm not wording this right, but you get my point, right? Can't help but think Denise Young-Smith's views on diversity have been influenced by her Apple paycheck. They're so cynical. <laughs> I like this. How dare she say diversity and inclusion includes everyone? And a lot of people are saying things like this, right? Unfortunately, this is the person who said it, and then showing a picture of her. Like, why does it matter that she happens to be a black woman? Her saying this and using the example of white men doesn't mean she's stabbing in the back all women and all black people. It's so, so silly. Oh, thank you, this person. Denise Young-Smith, you are my hero for seeing us humans as humans and not our skin colour. Yes, yes, thank you. Oof. Apple, fire Denise Young-Smith, she has no idea what she's doing if she thinks there is diversity in blonde, blue-eyed, pale males. Well, sorry, but if you think there isn't, if you think that every person who shares a race and gender and hair and eye colour, if you think every person who looks the same shares exactly the same life experiences, exactly the same education, exactly the same skills, then you're the one who doesn't know what you're doing. No, I, I applaud this woman for sh saying what she did. It was a very brave thing for her to say because of the backlash, but it shouldn't be, it was common sense. And I think she seems like exactly the right person for the job. But that's just my opinion, I'd like to know what you thought on her original statement. What do you think of the people who are kind of like calling her out for it? What do you think about the fact that she actually had to make an apology to this? I think it's crazy, but that's just me. Honestly, I agree with her. Diversity should be about experiences and skills, not about physical features. That just seems silly. Um, but like I say, let me know your thoughts in the comments. For now, thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you again soon. Just wanted to say a quick huge, huge thank you to everyone who is supporting me on Patreon this month, with a special thank you to these guys. Ewan Matthewson, Secular Reason, Daniel Clark, Lucky Scott, Jaden Shepard, and Matthew Minema. You guys are all incredible. Everyone else is linked in the description below or on the end screen. You're all amazing, and just thank you, thank you so much.